In this video, we'll explore variables in the editor. Let's create a program that tells a story about someone eating apples. Let's create a variable name to store the name of our character. We'll assign our name variable the string value of Joe. Let's print that to the console. Let's add some context to our print statement so that it's more than just a name. Great. Notice how it's printed to the console isn't name likes to eat apples, it's Joe likes to eat apples. This is because when we use the variable name, we're really referencing the value that is stored in that variable, which in this case is the string Joe. And a quick note about concatenation. When we're combining a variable, such as the name variable here with a string, we have to be very careful with the syntax. If we forget the plus sign or a set of quotation marks, we'll get an error that looks like this. So let's add our plus sign back. Now let's create a variable that stores the number of apples. So this is something we'll be able to update throughout the course of our program. We'll call it numApples and assign it the value of five. Let's print that out to the console. Now let's say that Joe really likes apples and he eats all of them. We can update the numApples variable by writing the variable name and assigning it a new value. In this case, we want the new value to be zero. We can copy and paste our previous print statement to show how many apples are left. Great, a couple of notes. First, I wanna highlight how we update the value of the numApples variable on line 10. So what happens if we use the let keyword in front of the variable name? Ah, we get an error. And this is because when we use the let keyword, we're telling the computer to create a new variable or create a new box to store information. But we've already created a variable with that name. So in JavaScript, we cannot have two variables with the same name. Also, notice what happens when I change the value of the name variable to Carol. It updates the value on line three and eight as well. This is the power of variables. By storing information in a variable, we're able to use that value throughout our program and we can easily update it in one place and it updates everywhere. Now it's your turn to try out using variables in your JavaScript programs.